Uh, thank you so much for attending in this session. So I'm so happy. Um, well, um, this is uh, my first time in Uruguay, so I'm so glad here. Um, today I'm going to present my uh, small project in my community in Bali uh, about preservation and rescue Balinese traditional manuscript on uh, Balinese wiki source. So first, let me introduce myself first. My name is Citra. So I'm from uh, Bali, from Indonesia. Uh, I'm an active member of Wikimedia Denpasar community. So the name of uh, our community is Denpasar. Denpasar is capital city of uh, Bali. So I'm a lecturer in uh, Udayana University in the Balinese language program. Um, well, today I'm going to present about uh, two things that are really important, even though I have just 15 minutes, right? Uh, and after this, we have a workshop yeah. about Wikisort, so maybe uh, we can talk uh, much more about this. But in this session, I just want to uh, share with all of you about introduction about Balinese traditional manuscript and my um, my project, Wiki Local Initiative, and then uh, Balinese Wikisource. Well, the first one is um, what is the Balinese traditional manuscript? So, yeah. Um, in Bali, we have a lot of uh, Balinese traditional manuscript. We call it Lota. So the name of traditional manuscript is Lota because this is uh, made from palm leaf, and uh, yeah, they have a several name like Rontal and then Siwalan and Antal. But uh, we know uh, the traditional manuscript is Lota. So this is the trees of palm leaf that we using the raw uh, material from. Uh, this tree, Pental uh, or Rontal, and uh, until now we using this, uh, uh, still using this uh, palm leaf uh, to many ceremony in Bali. And yes, this is the tool uh, for writing Lota. So you can see we using this uh, like a specific tool. We call it uh, Pengrupa. So the name of the tool is Pengrupa. So we scratch uh, the surface of manuscript, uh, the lonta, and then um, uh, we ink them after we finish to writing uh, with a candle nut. So uh, this is the candle nut, the, the, the black one. The ink, uh, we using a uh, candle nut. So uh, yeah, this is, uh, we using just one tool actually, but uh, for drawing, we using an, uh, many various uh, tool. This is for drawing. Uh, in the uh, left uh, and just for writing, just one, this one. And I will show you uh, how the Balinese are uh, writing their uh, traditional manuscript. Okay, yeah, we using both hand like this and we handle our knife, so pengrupa like this. And uh, we scratch uh, the surface of manuscript. Um, and um, uh, we writing from left uh, to the right. So after we uh, we writing the manuscript, and after that we will uh, ink them with um, candle nut. So this is the process uh, because uh, the tool is uh, not too balanced if we using just one hand. So that's why we try to using uh, our both hand. And this is the uh, way how to uh, ink them with candle nut. So, yeah, this is the last process to, to make uh, the script uh, visible in manuscript in Lonta. Yep. And then, yeah. Well, this is the Balinese script. So, like this. Um, and using uh, the Lonta, using uh, not just Balinese language, but also all uh, Japanese language uh, for to write on how the word. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, this is just brief uh, overview about uh, how to write a manuscript and. We learn uh, about manuscript lota until now in uh, school and then the script as well. 
uh, that's why it's really important to preserve our manuscript in Bali because uh, we still learn and then using the knowledge, the local knowledge, uh, knowledge in our manuscript. So we initiated to make a one of the movement in my community. Uh, that is a wiki local initiative. So uh, this is our our project. And uh, what is wiki local? So wiki local is. Uh, the project that initiated by uh, Wikimedia and Pasar community, and we collecting metadata and make a catalog for uh, Balinese public manuscript and add a reference in Wikimedia platform. So Wiki Lontar, Wiki it's uh, refer to our uh, platform in Wiki and Lontar uh, refer to manuscript. So uh, our focus is uh, on Wiki data and Wiki source. So we have uh, we make a. Uh, no, no, we input the parameter in Wikidata for manuscript and then uh, we upload in common uh, and we retype also in Wikisource to make a catalog. So that is the focus of this project. Now, uh, how we have to do um, this project, uh, why this is really important, you know. Uh, this is one of the real condition of this manuscript. So this is really bad. This is the one place in Bali. Um, yeah, the manuscript <laughs> uh, is destroyed uh, because of the owner uh, don't have uh, knowledge or skill how to preserve their manuscript. So they just keep it, uh, not read it, just uh, yeah, uh, make a ceremony every six months. So we have a one ceremony special for uh, manuscript and knowledge. Uh, so they just keep it uh, without uh, read it and just check. And that's why after I go there, check it, and um, the knowledge, all of the manuscript is really destroyed. So um, the next, uh, this project uh, tried to uh, answer the question, uh, how many lotar uh, actually exactly Balinese people have? So because um, we don't know um, Balin, uh, how many Balinese have a long part of it. We just have, we just say yes, we have a lot, but how many? So we don't know. Uh, that's why uh, we try to make this initiative uh, with my community uh, to make a mapping the manuscript in Bali first, and then uh, around in the world. So, well. Um, yeah, this is uh, that I have done with my community, input in Wikidata, and we know the, the red dot is uh, the place uh, where the manuscript is uh, saved. Uh, so we input all of the parameter uh, to know about uh, where is uh, the manuscript uh, keep it. So this is the private collection. It's not the institution or library collection, just private collection from local houses. So because uh, in data, in Bali, we have a 25,000 manuscript, so we don't know real or not, so just uh, keep going about this. Well, uh, we rescue manuscript, and before we, uh, before I uh, got involved in Wikimedia movement, so um, I also uh, volunteer in another community to rescue the manuscript, so uh, I will uh, give you a brief overview about Lontar in Bali. So Lontar in Bali keep in museum, library, uh, institution collection as well. But also uh, we have a Lontar in private collection. So uh, many people uh, keep their local knowledge. Yeah, um, lo uh, Lontar is a paper or book in that time and when we don't uh, using a paper. So uh, what we do uh, when uh, we rescue uh, our manuscript in Bali, the first is uh, make a collaboration with community and government. So that uh, the first step that I uh, have done with my community. So we have uh, one of the staff from government uh, to promote the Balinese language. And uh, we know from them uh, who uh, the owner that can um, give us uh, permission to open their collection. And then we also got, uh, get permission for government to open uh, to uh, uh, to get access uh, uh, to rescue the manuscript. So the second, uh, we try to convince the owner of the manuscript to open the collection. So this is the important thing because uh, the owner of the manuscript uh, still uh, think the manuscript or lontar is really really sacred. So we cannot read it, uh, just keep it, and 
make a ceremony. So uh, that's really, really uh, challenging for me and my community uh, to get permission to uh, open this collection. And after we got permission, so we will check the condition of Lota and we can uh, also uh, do, uh, we have prepared to how should we do with the, the lontar and after that we will preserve the manuscript, uh, clean up the surface and then uh, digitizing. So that's the step. Well, this is the just uh, image or photo, the uh, activities that we do uh, with, uh, with my community. So confess the owner and then check um, the condition of uh, manuscript and then digitizing and also uh, preserving uh, with uh, candle nut, I don't know, candle nut, uh, citronella oil uh, to uh, make uh, long time clean. So, uh, well, um, this is a one of video how we preserve the manuscript with my student in Udayana University. So, yeah, we cleared it uh, one by one. Uh, the page, page by page with my uh, with my student. We have uh, one subject, uh, special subject in Udayana University to uh, preserve uh, the manuscript. So, um, well, after that, nah, uh, the last one is about uh, Balinese wiki source. So, uh, welcome. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the Balinese wiki source that uh, we have and uh, after we input uh, data from uh, we, um, the manuscript on Wikidata and then after that we upload on Wikicommon and also we have a Balinese wiki source and we can retype and then proofread the manuscript here uh, so everyone uh, can access in ban.wikisource.org. Uh, this is just uh, one of the sample, the manuscript that we have done to proofread together uh, with my community. So if you want to access, I will show you the Wikisource. Uh, yeah. uh, this is Balinese Wikisource, uh, ban.wikisource.org. So uh, we using a Balinese uh, language here. So if you want to know about my project, so in the categorized and below here, you can see uh, one of the category here about Wikilontar 2021. Well, this is uh, the lontar that we preserve with my community. Uh, one of the lontar is from uh, Museum, uh, Museum Collection and then another uh, a private collection. So you can see also here and check how we can, um, yeah, this one for example, yeah. Okay, we can read here together. Um, this is the tool and yeah, something like this. This is the Balinese manuscript and if you uh, want to read it or edit, you just Okay, ready? Ah, something like this. Well, okay. Yeah, we have uh, and for, uh, likely we I I have a tool to a keyboard for Balinese, so that's really um, easy just to uh, edit and then uh, retyping the manuscript uh, like this. Uh, because uh, in Indonesia we have uh, another local language that uh, really uh, that also have a script, so they don't have a tools like this. Uh, like a Balinese, so uh, I'm so lucky as a Balinese I have this tool to uh, just retype again uh, our manuscript. So that's all. Well, where is my. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that's all for, for me. Uh, it's about Balinese uh, music. So I, have, I still have time, brother? No? <laughs> okay, the next is uh, from Sadiq. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Chitra. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Sadiq Gil. I work with the Wikimedia Foundation in the Culture and Heritage Team. 
and I'll keep it really brief. I have 10 minutes, and I'll, I'll, I'll basically uh, continue what Chitra just shared. So the inspiration for what we are supporting now uh, came from this project, the Balinese uh, manuscript project. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm joined here with uh, Salesh, who's also my colleague, and he'll be sharing about uh, what we're doing right now and how we're supporting other communities uh, to start their own manuscript projects. So, yeah, as I told already, that we were inspired by the Balinese community, and we also kind of started thinking how can we go beyond uh, scanning and transcription, and how can we engage, uh, let's say, uh, partners uh, to further communicate this for comms purposes, and also partners like the British Library, who are already working with manuscript, how can we collaborate better with them? Um, and also improving the wiki source infrastructure, because uh, uh, we want to improve how people are able to contribute, and I'll, I'll share more about what we're doing on that front as well. So, yeah, so we started after the Bali, uh, the project in Bali, we started with, uh, again, in Indonesia itself, uh, but taking a few more languages to try and see if this is something that can be replicated uh, in other languages as well. And we, we are just concluding that, that pilot uh, project in Bali. We worked with a research institution. They scanned 28,000 manuscript pages in Balinese, in Javanese, uh, Minangkabau, and Malay language. Uh, so different, three different islands of Bali, uh, of Indonesia, sorry, and three different islands, and we worked with these three or four different languages. They scanned them, and then they worked with uh, different communities to then transcribe those manuscripts as well. And we have partners like UNESCO, Wikimedia Indonesia, the British Library, uh, and Transcribers. Uh, I'll just briefly talk about two of them. Uh, so Transcribers uh, is uh, it's a tool, it's AI-driven, and what it promises is you give it enough data, you give it images, which is scanned manuscript, and you give it transcription. Basically, you manually type the, uh, the manuscript, and it will create a handwriting recognition model for you with that. And then you can use it on other, um, on other pages, on, our, on, on similar handwritings further. And we, we partnered with a, a tech institution in India to work with it. We did some tests on how it's working and what are some of the challenges with it. And we have now integrated this into Wikisource. So on 27 different Wikisource versions, you can use Transcribus already, and they have some existing models created by the Transcribus community. And for instance, Spanish is there, and I believe like 17th or 18th century Spanish handwriting is there, for instance. Uh, and that's something uh, I would really encourage you to, to go, to check, to test, tell us how it's working, and, and then maybe we can also work uh, with you to, to create new models if needed. And here is an example of how we've added this option to wiki source. Um, earlier we only had Tesseract and Google OCR, now we have a third option called Transcribers. Here is a handwritten letter, and this is what reading that letter, which is difficult for you know someone like me to even read clearly, but then still the tool produced really good output because it's English, because it's had a lot of data, but given a lot of data, given enough data, you should be able to create models in your language as well. I have one more minute. Yeah. I'll okay, pass to Salesh after that. And we also partnered with the British Library um, on, uh, for this project. So the British Library had already been working with uh, the, uh, the Bangla community, for instance, uh, and they have been a partner in, uh, in some of the other projects as well. And we kind of continued that, continued working with them. And for this project, they they donated 76 Javanese manuscripts, um, one of the biggest languages of Indonesia. They gave uh, 76 manuscripts, and we're using those manuscripts to create um, this transcribus models for them. And here is the category um, of the, uh, the manuscripts that the British Library donated to Wikimedia Commons, and they're being used on Wikisource uh, right now. 
And we've done some technical support work, improving the infrastructure, uh, as I told about, some support to Balani's on-screen keyboard that Chitra just displayed, the on-screen keyboard, made some, uh, some improvements there as well. And with that, I'll pass on to Salish. Thanks, Adit. Uh, so, uh, I hope that you are all like excited after, you know, Chitra's session and uh, Sadeep's session about like how we manage, how we are working with like manuscripts. And that brings back to us like, how can we expand it beyond like, Indonesia, you know? Like there are folks in other languages who are also like interested to work on like manuscripts. And one thing that we also know that uh, manuscripts, they come in like many shapes, sizes, materials, and languages. So, you know, we have like, like we have palm leaf in Indonesia, we have like paper in somewhere else, and papyrus in other languages. So, can we build like community together who could like work on this project, you know? How, how can we expand this network? So, we did a lot of application, um, I guess in July, and we were overwhelmed by 100 plus responses in the learning partners network with community members interested to be a part of Wikisource Service Manuscripts. And from the 100 uh, uh, interests that we had, we selected 20, uh, 22 uh, uh, community members uh, who, with whom we could, like, we started a cohort to provide like necessary support in terms like, you know, we had our learnings from Indonesia. We learned that what are some things that requires to, uh, what are some things that is required to like have a successful manuscript digitization work. And one thing was like, you know, giving a presentation about, or talking about like how digitization work, how you preserve manuscripts, how transcribers works, or even like applying for a grant from the uh, Wikimedia Foundation, you know, to start your own uh, manuscript digitization project. Luckily we have, uh, Alice and Nitesh in here, who are part of the current cohort uh, that is happening uh, for the Wikisource Manuscripts. Um, so right now we have like 11 languages in that uh, network. Uh, uh, I forgot to mention that we had like 100 plus responses in the in the interest for the for being part of this cohort, and almost 50 percent of them came from uh, South America. So we had a bunch of community members from Argentina, uh, Chile, Bolivia uh, interested in to be a part of it. So we were also very excited. But right now we have like 11 languages uh, which are part of the uh, current cohort, most of mostly from South Asia, um, and you know represent, representing like in seven different regions of, of the world. Uh, sorry, I'll go back to my post slide again. Uh, this is the QR code which you can sign up, you know, you can scan to sign up for the next cohort. Uh, there is an ongoing cohort already happening right now which will probably finish in, uh, by March. And we are looking for like more participants who are interested to, you know, be a part of the Wikisource Source Manuscripts Network. So you go to the sign up form, uh, there is no sign up form, it's a meta page.